Midas Touch. This is the story of King Midas. Many centuries ago, there was a beautiful kingdom. The kingdom was ruled by a king named Midas. They say that he owned so much gold that he could buy an entire city. He loved his gold dearly, but nobody ever got to see the gold he owned. The kingdom always wondered where so much gold can be hidden. Where do you think our king keeps so much gold? I have no idea. How can you own so much gold and never show it off? The truth was that King Midas always kept his gold locked up in the dungeon. He went there every day to count his numerous golden bricks and coins. The queen was amused and often joked about it. Dear, don't count your gold every day. What if it diminishes just like that? Don't even joke about it. Don't you know how priceless gold is? Look at the golden necklace you are wearing. Isn't it beautiful? See how shiny it is? It is beautiful, yes. But no matter how priceless it is, it cannot buy us all the happiness. It can buy me all the happiness. You won't understand. How can anything be more beautiful than this? The queen didn't agree, but she knew there was no point in arguing with her husband. The king's love for gold increased with each passing day. He loved it so much that he named his beloved daughter Marigold. Marigold was dearest to her father. She was full of life and saw beauty in the smallest things. She often called out to her father. Father! Come see how beautiful the flowers are. It's such a beautiful day. Look how the dewdrops shine on the grass. It is still not shinier than gold. You won't understand, dear. You, go and play alone. Just like her mother, Marigold never understood how gold could be more beautiful than the flowers. As time passed by, King Midas started spending more and more time in the dungeon alone, counting the gold over and over again. A few days later, the royal guard brought a strange man into the palace to meet the king. The man was dressed in simple clothes. King noticed that the man wore no sandals on his feet. Who is this man? Your Highness, I found him wandering in the streets. He says he is lost and has no place to stay. Hmm, he must be from a far-off land. Lost, you say? Arrange for his stay here. Till we don't find his real home, he is our guest. As days passed by, King learned that the man was in fact Salinas. What he didn't know is that Salinas was a close friend of the forest god. Arrangements were made for Salinas' stay. He was given a royal treatment and provided with everything he asked for. In a few weeks, they found the address to his home. It was time for Salinas to go home. The following night, the king was sitting in his dungeon, counting his gold. Suddenly... What? Oh, heaven! Who are you? Why are you here? I am the god of the forests, Midas. How do you know my name? Are you here to rob my gold? <laughs> what would I do with gold? It's a waste to me. I am here to thank you. Uh, thank me? For what? Salinas is a dear friend of mine. I know how well you took care of him. I am impressed with your hospitality. I have come here to grant you any wish you have. Tell me, what do you want? Midas couldn't believe his ears. He can ask for anything. He knew what he wanted. I want a ship full of gold. No, 
a house full of gold. No, even that's not enough. Wait, I know what could make me happy. Give me a golden touch. I wish that whatever I touch turns to pure gold. I will grant your wish as promised. As soon as the sun rises tomorrow, anything you touch will turn to pure gold. But remember, King, it will not make you happy. Gold cannot buy all the happiness. <laughs> How could someone like him understand the value of gold? I will now be the richest and happiest man on earth. <laughs> Midas could not sleep that night. He was waiting eagerly for the morning to come. And the morning did come. Midas was excited to try his golden touch. How comfortable it would be to sleep in a bed made of gold! Who in the world has a fortune like that? Midas then went on to touch everything he could find. I don't have to hide my gold anymore. Let's go out and make the whole palace shine. Midas walked the corridors touching everything in his way. He went into the garden and turned all the trees and plants into gold. Oh, I am so tired with all the running. I still have the entire kingdom to turn into gold. I must take a procession out in the kingdom to show my golden touch to everyone. But I am hungry now. Let me eat something first. There were fruits, fish, meat, and all kinds of delicacies on the table laden out for the king. Oh, what a feast! This looks delicious! What? No! Where is the water? I am thirsty! What is all this? Midas was now shocked and scared. He slowly started touching everything on the table and watched in horror as everything turned into hard gold. What will I eat now? I am thirsty. What will I drink? I cannot eat or drink gold. Will the richest king on earth die of hunger? The king was very sad. He sat there looking at food, which now was of no use to him. Just then, his daughter came running from the garden. Father! And before King Midas could think, No! Mary Gold! Marigold had turned into a shiny and beautiful little statue of gold. Beautiful, but lifeless. She didn't breathe, didn't move. King Midas was shattered. His beloved daughter was no longer with him. Oh no, what have I done? Marigold, how could this ever make me happy? Marigold, my beautiful little sparkle, <laughs> say something. The king had tears in his eyes. He ran towards the dungeon and cried for help. Oh, King Midas, what is the matter? Why do you look so sad? It's just been a few hours of your special gift. Do you need another boon? God, I beg for your forgiveness. <laughs> What good is this boon if it takes my daughter away from me? What do I do with food made of gold? I cannot eat it. What do I do of water made of gold? I cannot drink it. My real boon was my daughter. But now, now she doesn't speak. What do I do with all this gold if I can't see her smile again? Please, God, take away my entire gold. Take away everything, but give me my marigold back. I understand now. Gold cannot buy all the happiness. Oh, King Midas, 
You have learnt a very valuable truth of life. Gold withers away. What really matters is the love and affection of those around us. It never dies. It never withers. Take this. This pot is filled with magical water. Sprinkle a few drops on everything that has turned into gold. The water will reverse the effect of your touch. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, God. The king ran to his daughter and sprinkled a few drops of magical water on her. Marigold was breathing. King took his daughter in his arms. Father, what happened here? Nothing, my child. I will set everything right. Midas then sprinkled the water on everything that he had turned into gold. So tired he was of the shine that he longed for the roughness of the wood. He then went into the garden with his daughter and began sprinkling the water on trees, plants, and flowers. For the first time in his life, he saw the beauty of nature. Marigold, see? How beautiful the flowers are! It's such a beautiful day! See how the dewdrops shine on the grass? <laughs> yes, Father! After turning everything into its natural form, King Midas sat with his daughter and his wife at the breakfast table and ate plentiful of everything that was there. Never before had he tasted such delicious food. He quenched his thirst with glasses and glasses of water, while his daughter and his wife watched him in amusement. King Midas never counted his gold in the dungeon again. He spent his time with his family. He enjoyed the little and simple things around him. And he truly was the richest and happiest man on the earth. <laughs>